Jamaican-born Beckford has been a patient transporter at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston for over three decades. And it's a job that he excels at. Many patients he's met over the years think he's amazing. For 31 years, Beckford has brought something unique to the corridors of the Boston Hospital. While he always fulfills his job description, safely transporting patients, he often does something else that sets him apart from the rest. Beckford has a special talent. It's one that he used to showcase in nightclubs across Maine and Massachusetts until he landed the patient transporter role at the hospital in 1985. Nowadays, his patients are pretty much his only audience. Every day, Beckford strolls around the hospital corridors in blue scrubs and white sneakers, like many other staff members. But he doesn't blend into the background. In fact, Beckford is often the star of the show. That's because he often treats his patients to a sneak peek of his special talent, singing. Beckford is a truly talented vocalist, and those lucky enough to be transported around the hospital by him are often left stunned by his wonderful singing voice. It doesn't matter what he's doing at the hospital, Beckford always seems to find an appropriate song to sing. Whether he's taking patients to the operating theater or simply moving hospital equipment, he's constantly filling the corridors with good cheer. The genre of music that he performs varies too. The legendary patient transporter has been known to sing Dolly Parton tunes, as well as gospel songs. But perhaps the most entertaining are his own reggae melodies, it's a style of music that he describes as lover's rock, according to a Stat News article from 2016. The patients love Beckford's tunes. Given that being in the hospital is a pretty miserable situation for most patients, his singing gives them a little boost when they need it the most. Vera Vicentini is one of those patients whom Beckford has impressed. She was fortunate enough to be serenaded by Beckford while she was receiving treatment for a brain tumor. En route to an MRI scan, the transporter sang her a gospel song. Vicentini told Stat News that she thought it was so beautifully performed that she almost cried. She loved it so much, in fact, that she requested another song. Beckford started to sing another gospel melody, which Vicentini subsequently joined in with. It proved to be an emotional moment, even provoking tears from the patient. He's not just a man that transports us, she explained. He makes us happy, he makes our day bright, and she's certainly not the only person who thinks so. Another patient told Beckford that his wonderful bedside manner made her feel healthy again. It isn't just the patients who appreciate Beckford's talents. His colleagues asked him to appear in an orientation video for new employees. To Beckford though, it's not such a big deal. He says that singing to cheer people up is just something he feels obliged to do. Over the years, Beckford has created a unique environment at the hospital. He doesn't just transport patients, he provides them with a sense of comfort and joy during their most vulnerable moments. His singing is more than just a talent. It's a form of healing that reaches beyond the physical to touch the emotional and spiritual well-being of his patients. His reggae melodies in particular have a soothing and uplifting effect. Lover's Rock, as he calls it, brings a piece of his Jamaican heritage to the sterile clinical environment of the hospital, creating a bridge between cultures and offering patients a momentary escape from their worries. His approach to patient care has earned him a special place in the hearts of those he helps. Patients remember his kindness and his psalms long after their hospital stays. Beckford's presence at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center has become synonymous with warmth and compassion. The hospital staff also recognize the importance of what Beckford does. His inclusion in the orientation video for new employees highlights the hospital's appreciation for his unique contribution. It serves as a reminder to new staff members of the profound impact a little kindness and a personal touch can have on patient care. Beckford's story is one of dedication and love for his work. He doesn't seek recognition or accolades for his singing. He simply wants to make a difference in the lives of those he meets. His humility and genuine care for others shine through in everything he does. Through his daily interactions, Beckford has created a lasting legacy at the hospital. He has shown that sometimes, 
The simplest acts of kindness can have the greatest impact. His songs, his smile, and his unwavering dedication to his patients have made him an integral part of the hospital community. Beckford's journey from nightclub singer to beloved patient transporter is a testament to the power of following one's passion and using one's talents to bring joy to others. His story is a reminder that no matter where we are or what we do, we all have the ability to make a positive difference in the world. As he continues to stroll through the corridors of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, Beckford's songs will continue to bring light to those who need it most. His voice, a beacon of hope and joy, will carry on echoing through the halls, touching the hearts of all who hear it. Beckford is a reminder that in the world of healthcare, compassion and kindness are as important as any medical treatment. His story is one of hope, joy, and the extraordinary power of music to heal and uplift the human spirit. A doctor has his part to play. A nurse has her part. I've got my part to play, Beckford said. But it hasn't always been that simple for him. Sometimes he has real trouble finding his voice due to his issues with anxiety. Indeed, it was because of his anxiety that Beckford gave up singing on the nightclub circuit. He used to have panic attacks during his gigs, even though he'd been performing since he was a young kid. It got to the point where Beckford had to take medication for his condition. Anxiety can put you in a bad spot, Beckford said. He would forget his lyrics or sing in the wrong key. Even today, his nerves sometimes still get the better of him, causing his memory to fail when a patient asks him to sing. Beckford admits that his mind goes haywire when he feels anxious. However, in the end, the music comes to him and calms him down. Despite the occasional nervousness, Beckford says that music has always been a source of comfort for him. And there's no doubt that his singing comforts those around him too. While the nightclubs of Maine and Massachusetts may miss out on his dulcet tones, the patients of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center benefit from Beckford's presence. However, the patient transporter is always careful not to be overbearing with his voice. He recognizes that not everyone will always be in the mood to hear him sing, so Beckford makes sure to ask permission before bursting into song. And he never sings on the way to the morgue. From the moment I meet up with a patient, I try to make sure it's going to be unusual, he said. When people around him are going through particularly difficult times, Beckford does his best to bring them some positivity in the best way he knows, through song. Beckford's journey with anxiety has been a long one. His love for singing started when he was a child in Jamaica, performing at church and community events. When he moved to the United States, he continued to pursue his passion in nightclubs. But as his anxiety grew, performing became increasingly challenging. During his nightclub days, Beckford's panic attacks would come out of nowhere, leaving him breathless and disoriented. The fear of forgetting lyrics or hitting the wrong notes haunted him, and eventually the stress outweighed the joy of performing. Transitioning to a quieter life as a patient transporter allowed Beckford to continue sharing his gift without the intense pressure of the stage. He found a new rhythm in the hospital corridors, where his singing brought comfort and joy to patients during their most vulnerable moments. Beckford's colleagues have also noticed the positive impact of his singing. Nurse Emily Parker said, Beckford has a way of lifting everyone's spirits. His singing isn't just about the music, it's about the connection he makes with people. It's like he knows exactly what song will help in that moment. Despite his anxiety, Beckford continues to sing because he believes in the healing power of music. He knows firsthand how it can soothe the soul and provide comfort. For him, seeing to patients is not just part of his job, it's a calling. He also knows when to refrain from singing. The journey to the morgue is a somber one, and Beckford understands the importance of silence and respect in those moments. His sensitivity to the emotions of those around him is part of what makes him so beloved at the hospital. Looking back, Beckford sees his journey with anxiety as a part of his story that has shaped who he is today. His struggles have given him a deeper empathy for others and a greater appreciation for the simple joys in life. Through his singing, he offers a piece of himself to every patient he meets, hoping to make their day a little brighter. 
Beckford's story is a reminder that even in the face of personal challenges, we can find ways to share our gifts and make a difference in the lives of others. His dedication to his patience and his love for music continue to inspire everyone who has the privilege of hearing his voice. As he moves through the hospital corridors each day, Beckford's song is more than just a melody. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of compassion. His journey from the nightclubs to the hospital hallways is a beautiful example of how we can find new ways to shine, even when life takes us down unexpected paths.